y'all i'm diamond and welcome to my channel sipping pretty um a lot of you guys are new here and it's mostly because this is my first video but don't 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 <laughs> uh just kidding that was a corny joke time but this is my first video so i'm going to tell you guys a little bit about well i'm not even going to say really about myself but what this channel is going to be about I am going to cover everything from celebrity news, a little bit of gossip, politics, um, things that's going on in the world, and just, just everyday life of being a woman and a single mother. So, that's pretty much what I'll be covering on this channel. So, if that is something you're interested in, subscribe to my channel, share this video, tell people about my channel, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It's going to be two days. Wind down, I'm going to do videos on Wednesdays, which is going to be wind down Wednesdays, Saturdays, which is going to be sipping Saturday. Today is sipping Saturday, so grab, it's going to be juicy today, y'all. So go, on, go ahead, grab your bottle of wine, favorite drink, if it's been that type of week, go ahead and grab a bottle of Hennessy, you know, <laughs> we be having weeks like that sometimes, and Let's get to it, y'all. It's going to be juicy tonight. So go ahead and get your bottle. And let's get to sipping, sipping Saturdays. drinking so the wine that i have today is chateau elan this is the this is the bottle right here i have the summer wine kind this is one of my uh go-to wines and pretty much because i you can get it at walmart and i'm always at walmart so i typically just grab a bottle when i'm there they have different flavors and it's inexpensive i think it's 9.99 and the best part about it is it's 13 percent alcohol so if you're trying to get there and get there fast i'm gonna need you to go ahead and pick your boxes <laughs> Go ahead and pick you up a bottle. So, yes. Um, yeah, this is the wine I'm be sipping on. Let me crack open my bottle. Pour y'all glass. Pour y'all glass. Okay. The first topic that I'm going to talk about is going to be a little bit heavy, which is um, Brianna Taylor. I'm sure you guys at this point all have heard her name, said her name, and researched her story plenty of times. So, and it's so crazy because every time I research this or watch the news or check social media, it's always, you know, it's always a different story, you know, so. But um, I want to start with some facts. What we do know about this what is Brianna was a young black woman who was murdered in her home. Brianna Taylor was 26 years old. She uh, was living in Kentucky at the time. And she was at home with her boyfriend when this happened. Okay, so as we know, the police, ooh, child, these police, I don't even know where to get started with these cops. These cops are truly, they are they are deranged. <laughs> That's what I will say about what's been going on lately in the world. It's like these cops are have truly lost their minds. So, uh, the, the cops, they got a no-knock warrant. And from my understanding, the the um the warrant was changed at the last minute to a knock and announce warrant. That it was it was changed at the last minute. The police said they knocked and they identified themselves. And Brianna Taylor' boyfriend is Kenneth Walker. I believe that yes, Brianna Taylor' boyfriend is Kenneth Walker, and he said that they did not knock or announce themselves. Me being me, I believe Kenneth. I will believe a rock over a police officer. So I believe her boyfriend. Now, the police said they seen J Jamarcus Glover, which is Brianna Taylor, ex-boyfriend, take a package from her house and take it to a known drug house. And that the post office verified this. Come to find out, the post office, in so many words, said, hell no, no, we did not. We, we never verified that. We never said that. But what did happen was another agency reached out to the post office and told them to monitor the packages and and they came to the conclusion that the packages were it didn't have anything to do with drugs the police executed that warrant march 13th at around midnight or you know late night 
And they said they knocked, but y'all know, this is what I know. They probably didn't. They full of crap. I'm sure they didn't. I believe the boyfriend. And the number one thing, the main reason why I believe the boyfriend is because, first of all, if the police did knock and say, police, it, you know, police, we coming in. Who the hell in their right mind? From what I gather, Brianna is not a criminal. He's not a cri criminal. They are two upstanding citizens. Who in their right mind would just shoot at the police and shoot one time? So it's like, okay, who in their right mind gonna have a shootout with the police? Come on now, that don't even make no sense. And, and if you did, what type of shootout you trying to do with one shot? Um, Brianna Taylor, uh, boyfriend Kenneth Walker, he only fired one shot. Like, come on now. So. I, to me, that sounds more like he thought an intruder was coming into the house and he fired off a shot just to scare whoever it was. Come on, he's a black man. He see what's going on in the world. Y'all really think he heard them say police and he trying to do a shoot off with them with Brianna in the house? Come on now, that doesn't even make any sense. So my guess, if I had to bet, <clears throat> if I had to bet, I would say that the police officers, they are full of it and they, just, they did not... Um, they did not or announce themselves and they just they just started this offline they if you the police report is public i um i looked that up and it says brianna brianna taylor was murdered they put in a police report that no injuries happened let me take a sip on that one sir sir come here come here i need you to look at what you wrote <laughs> How did no injuries happen if B Breonna Taylor passed away? Come on now, like, what what is going on? Like, they just they just write anything and do anything and say anything because they really believe that they are above the law. And I can't blame them because it's like they are above the law. law. I am a nurse. I cannot, I would lose my license if a patient passed away. And then I, I, I charted in the patient chart or I made a note and said that it was no injuries. No, or, you know, I, I would lose my license. Like, why does the law not apply to cops? It's crazy to me. So then I dig a little further and I see that it took 20 minutes for Breonna Taylor to get medical treatment. Which, by the way, is insane to me. If they call a code, code blue. And I sit there and wait 20 minutes before I do something about it. <laughs> and once again, I will lose my license and I will probably be sitting in jail somewhere. So how is it okay that y'all wait, wait 20 minutes to render medical services? I don't, I don't understand that. So then I researched a little bit more. Come to find out, they didn't told that I didn't know this. When you execute a no-knock warrant or any kind of warrant or something like that, they have like... Uh, the ambulance sit, sitting on standby in case something goes wrong. But an hour prior to they ran into the home, an hour prior before they um, forced themselves into Breonna Taylor home, they told the ambulance people they can go. Like, what? Excuse me? And which is not standard practice. So, I mean, every which way you look at the situation, it's like, as usual, whatever the police say, they statement, the police reports, once you do a little digging and look at body cams and all that stuff, it, it always, they always contradict themselves. So it's just like, we can't ever believe y'all, you always lying. So in, in, in this situation, I'm going to have to roll with the boyfriend. I believe what he said is true. And another reason why would I believe um, what he said is true, because in May, he was arrested for attempted, attempted murder char charges for shooting the cop and they ended up dropping those charges and letting him out. Anybody that's listening to this right now, you know if you if you should if you shoot what's them what's them uh damn what's them dogs called that be the police officer I guess well police dog if you shoot a police dog your ass is going down. <laughs> so come on now, y'all dropped them charges because you know they were full of shit. There's no way that they truly believe that he tried to kill a cop and let him off. So. It's, come on now it, it, it's just it's all really bullshit so today i go on sean king page i don't know if y'all familiar with him but if y'all not following him follow him on instagram sean king the police report the police um can't conclude if the boyfriend shot the cop in the leg so what that means basically is 
for real enough they they so trigger crazy they they shot over 20 bullets into her house i believe that one of the cops actually shot the other cop and of course they're not going to say that because they're going to look like they're incompetent so yes if you go to sean king report i mean if you go to sean king page you will see that the police can't conclude if the shot even came from the boyfriend gun that actually shot the cop and i know it wasn't they know it wasn't they just not going to admit it so on wednesday kentucky attorney general um daniel cameron which oh I, I i won't even get started on him <laughs> I don't even want to get started on him. We're we going to be here all night, y'all. So, hold on. Let me, let me take a sip. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. All I can do is shake my head and say, all your skin folk ain't your kin folk. Because this is crazy. But once I went on his Instagram page and see what his fiance looked like, I said, oh, okay, 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 okay. I got it. I, I, see, what's, I see what you did there. I see what's going on here. He spent majority of this investigation planning his damn engagement party and shit like this. Like he, I mean, and, and it's it's really disgusting. It, it, it's disgusting. But anyways, the one of the officers was fired in I believe oh June twenty third. The officer was fired. And he got charged with um one ton endangerment. And I'm like, what the hell is that? It's not. It sounds like something from a damn Chinese place. I'm like, what what is that? What is that? I had to Google it. In so many words, it's reckless endangerment, and that carries up to um, up to five years and a fine. Basically, a slap on the wrist, which is crazy because I wasn't even shocked. I knew it wasn't gonna be nothing, but still, it, it hurts still just to when you hear the the final decision, like wow. And then basically. Well, not basically. He did only get charged because uh, he fired into shots and he fired shots into the neighbor apartment, which basically he endangered them. So he basically the only one that got in trouble because he didn't shoot into he didn't shoot her. So I feel like, well, damn, if his if his bullets would have went into her, he would have never even been charged with nothing. He got charged for endangering the neighbors. And that is basically a load of shit. So. It was just very disappointing to hear those charges. It's, it's a class D felony in the state of Kentucky, so it, it'll be a it'll be a slap on the wrist. He went to jail, probably did a little walk through. His 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 bond was fifteen thousand dollars. I'm sure he got right back out. And yeah, this this story is just this this story is really really crazy. It's it's disappointing, and it's like. Here we are again. Here we are again. And this is just, I don't even know what to say. It's like you really don't even have no words for it. And, it, and it's really scary because it could have been me. It could have been you. It could have been my mom. It could have been any of us, you know. So it is horrible. One good thing that did come out of this case, July 11th, the city banned no-knock warrants, which is like, thank God, because why is y'all doing that shit anyway? Like, that's, to me, that's just on some sneaky stuff. Why the hell you asking for stuff like this to get, to happen? Why is it even legal to bust up in somebody's house while they sleep? You, you just, you have sleep. Like, you don't know what's going on. I, I'm going to shoot your ass too. I don't know who, the, I don't know who in my house. Like, that's just so crazy to me. Why would that even be? And the way y'all busting in people's houses, just for, I don't want to sound ignorant, but it's like, okay, just for selling drugs, like, okay, we know drugs is a, is a crime, but that's not something that's like, oh, they murder somebody, they pedophile and all this stuff. It's just drugs. Y'all don't need to be doing no damn, no, and if y'all is going to be doing no knock more, it's doing for something like that, pedophiles or somebody that kills somebody. Y'all don't need to do that in somebody that's just selling drugs. It's just drugs. Like, damn. Y'all, y'all busting it on the house and people, it's just... I don't know. The way I look at <sighs> crimes and stuff like that might be a, be a little bit different. I don't want to sound ignorant, but it's like, damn, it's just drugs. Y'all busting in the house on people while they sleep and doing this bullshit just for some selling, some crack, some weed, or whatever case may be. To me, it ain't that serious. Like, I don't know. But yeah, so that was the only good thing that came out of that. They banned no knock warrants July 11th. But other than that, this case has been, <sighs> it's basically a bunch of bullshit. So on that note i just want to say brianna taylor i'm so sorry that 
justice has not been served. Um, and guys, I, I just ask that definitely keep her family in prayer, her mom, her her boyfriend. I know he's traumatized and I could just imagine what her mom is going through. And it's I that that has to be the most devastating thing to not only lose a child, but the way that she was murdered basically in cold blood. So just keep them in prayer and black people, my black people, my black people. I hope we, I hope I'm alive to see the revolution and see the change because it's coming. It is coming. I, I can feel it. You could, you could feel the energy in the atmosphere. You can feel it in the air. So I'm hope, I hope I'm alive to see it. Whew. Let me take a drink. That that just make me so that it just pisses me off. On the lighter note, whoo. Y'all already know what I'm about to talk about. Let me take a sip before I get started. Child. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Whew. This damn Tory Lanez and Megan Gustalia. Ooh, I'm so ooh. I don't even know where to start at. I don't even know where to start at. So uh, but I'm sure everybody, y'all been following this story just like I have, or some of you may have not been following it because it's been a bunch of bullshit, can't keep up. So let's back it up. Let's back it up real quick. July 12th is when this shooting happened. So which is over what? A little over two months now. Two months ago this happened. So Megan, Tori, Kylie, and Tori bodyguard went to Kylie house for like a pool party or well not really a pool party but I guess just to hang and kick it which we seen Megan Megan actually went live that night and you see her and Kylie in the pool just you know whatever and, and Tori Lane is you could tell Megan is kind of irritated by him I think she said something like don't wear her phone you could just tell her when he came into the into the live you could just tell she was irritated next thing I know they um, posted on the shade room, Megan the Stallion they got shot. I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> what the hell going on? How did she get shot? They were just all kicking it at Kylie's house. What's going on? So, let me back it up. Let me, let me go over what Megan said. I'm going to just say, by the way, Megan is 25 years old. She's 5'10 in height. Tori is 28 years old. He's 5'3". Just keep those in, in mind that these are... Megan is young for real. Megan is 25, so uh, you got to remember that a lot of the stuff we see these celebrities do, we got to keep their age in consideration because these people, these are some young kids, not young kids, but we just see the lifestyle they live and we be forgetting that they are young for real. Just like this off, this off topic, but Money Bag, y'all know he just had a birthday. They talking about he, he 29. I said, who 29? <laughs> Who the who the money bag ain't no damn 29? What? 29? I thought he was a good a good 35, and that's being generous. Not saying that he look old or anything like that. It's just he just seemed like he don't seem like he's in his 20s for sure. So we gotta keep in mind that these people are really on the younger side. But anyway, so Megan did a lie August 20th, which was a, a little over a month after the situation ha happened. Megan clearly said Tori shot her. She denies hitting him. She said she was not aggressive with him. She said everybody was in the car arguing. She got out to walk away. He started shooting out the window. Then, wait a minute. When I heard her say that, I said, what the hell? This nigga really tripping. Like, what the hell? You think you in some damn action movie? Who the hell is you think? Who are you to be shooting somebody, but then shooting out the window? This ain't no damn action movie. I'm like, well, when she said that, I was so shocked. Like, Tori is really tripping. And she said that she tried to protect Tory. That's why he's not in jail. And she said everybody else went to jail but her, the bodyguard, the bodyguard, Tory, and Kelsey, her best friend. And um, she said she don't have no reason to lie. So that was pretty much what Megan said on her life. Mm. Ooh, this wine is good. Are y'all enjoying yourself at home? I hope y'all are enjoying yourself. I'm, I'm feeling myself over here. So, ooh, let me get a fan, y'all know. When y'all start to feel a little buzz, you start to get hot. What, what, what they say, what's the first sign that you get buzzed or drunk? I start sweating. So, <laughs> I'm getting hot over here. So, okay. So, Tori, the whole time, everybody, like, okay, let, well, let's wait to hear what Tori got to say. What Tori got to say, what Tori got to say. So, he finally posts something about 
he he just started it offline. He gonna post on Instagram, make all of us stay up. Tell me here he come and do live. I wanted to knock his little head on when, when he talking about, oh, this is it's in an album. Excuse me, sir. You made me stay up to 12 o'clock to listen to that this funky album. I was pissed. So already right there, you a liar. You're just a liar. I don't care. You call it marketing tip tech tactics or whatever. Don't do that bullshit no more, Tori. I was pissed standing up there. Like, I, I was really mad. And they was too. They dragged his ass in the comments on this page. Like, you midget. Don't do that no more. Why would you do that? Mm. So anyways, I did not download the album or anything. I just got my uh, little snippets from it on the uh, blog pages on Instagram. So he drops his album Thursday night. He said he didn't do it. He said this this whole incident made him lose $10 million. Megan people is trying to frame him. They fell in love too fast. He misses her. He loves her. He wants their back. Uh, I still want you to be mine. He said he had a crush on Kylie. He said he wasn't the one that was wrong that night, but she was just too drunk, drunk to see it. She lied to her best friend about them dating or having sex or whatever it is that they were doing. He said that they was catching planes to see each other. He pull up in the driveway, the dog foe. Y'all know foe. If y'all follow her on Instagram, the damn dog even got his own page. That foe was running up to him like, daddy, dad. No, he ain't say the dog called him daddy. <laughs> Basically, it was a real, to me, it sounded like they had a damn relationship. And I believe it. Now, this, I believe, and I, I, um, I believe that from the jump because I follow a blogger, Tasha with the K, and she's, um, uh, Tasha, Ta no, Tasha K. I follow a blogger named Tasha K. She's online with Tasha on YouTube. She pretty much be on point with everything. And she said that when this first happened before Megan even spoke out in July, she said that they was fucking around and they got into it because, and that's, you know what? She actually did say it. She said they got into it because uh, Tori Lanez had a crush on Kylie. So she had been said this before either one of them spoke out. So that I believe. I believe that they was fucking around. I believe that. And for some reason, Megan, you you omitted that truth in your life. You didn't say anything about that. But I think it's more of an industry thing. They all about looks and the image. Megan is 5'10". Tori is 5'3". My daughter is 5'3". So I can just imagine how that look. She's 5'10". That's just, that just don't look right. That that probably, probably would have looked like, you know, a dwarf. And I don't know. It's, I can just see that not being a good look. So... I believe that's why Megan didn't say anything about their relationship. She probably wanted to keep that on the hush. I would too. I, I just, I, I, I wouldn't want nobody to know I'm named the door feeder. So, yeah, I, I understand that. But I do believe that they was fucking around. I believe that. Now, what I think happened. Now, mind you, yes, nobody, all we doing is speculating at this point. Nobody was there. I wasn't there. You weren't there. Nobody was there. Can't nobody tell us what happened. But those four, the two people that did say something, which is Megan and Tori, I think they both lying. Megan got holes in her story. Tori, you do too. Now, from my point of view, okay, so first I was I was pissed off. I'm like, damn, why can't y'all believe black women? You know, every time a, a black woman say something, it's a backlash. Oh, no, no, no. It's always our, our fault for everything we do. Because I'm thinking, like, if had he shot Kylie Jenner, <laughs> mm. Mm. Tori, this incident happened July 12th. Had that, had you shot Kylie Jenner, they would have deported your ass July 13th. <laughs> it, 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 no, 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 no. It wouldn't even be all this back and forth. So it's just like, damn, you know, that's that's how I was feeling at first. Like every time a black woman say something, they always, nobody just can't believe us. But I started doing my research. Allegedly, Tori Lanez have a history of domestic violence and so does Megan the Stallion. They both have a history of violence. Um, the medical report basically said it was a, a foreign object removed from her foot. Now you can say it didn't say gunshot wound or a bullet was removed for her foot from her foot. You can take that two ways. Even though it didn't say bullet, uh bullet is a foreign object, so it was like, uh, I don't know how to take that. Uh, the, the the whole story y'all is just crazy. It, it, it just it doesn't make it doesn't make any sense. So anyways, back to what I was saying. I think I know. 
I'm pretty sure I, I, I can almost assure you that they were all drunk as fuck. They was kicking it. And Megan, you know your man. What the hell? I would have been pissed too. I'm sure she probably seen how he was looking at Cali. He, he in the song talking about basically damn near she looked at like a damn angel. Like he was just, oh my God. Like the way he was explaining in the song, I'm sure Megan could feel that. Like, you know, he was really over there crushing on her. So I'm sure by the time they got into the car, I, Megan went off. I think she just went, went ballistic. And ladies, it's like, it's definitely not right to put your hands on no man and don't be hitting nobody. I don't. I keep my hands to myself, and we all need, don't 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 put your hands on nobody unless they do something to you. But y'all know how it is, ladies. Raise your hand right now if your nigga to piss you off so bad you done bop him upside his head. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You know <laughs> how many ever times you feel you need to do it. So. Is it right? No. Is it cute? No. But that's just real. We're going to keep it real here because y'all know y'all be on social media act like y'all never been through nothing, did nothing, did nothing. You just perfect. You just fall out the sky. You're perfect. You're perfect. Whew. Shower. Y'all be killing me. So, but anyways, raise your hand if you did bop your nigga upside the head a few times. You know, you, you, be, you be pissed. Stuff happened, you know. So, I think she got in the car. She went off. They was fighting. So, here's the three things that I think. Number one, they was fighting in the backseat, fucking each other up. And the gun probably accidentally went off. I think the gun accidentally went off. And the reason why I say this is because there wasn't any gun residue on Tori Lane's hand. So I'm like, huh, did, damn, did the gun go off? You know, because that's not far-fetched, especially if the safety wasn't on. Maybe the gun went off. And, but then it's like, damn. She said she got shot in her feet. The gun went off twice. Hmm. My second thing that I think that happened could have happened is like I said Tori does have a history of domestic violence allegedly and so does Megan they was arguing ladies once again y'all know these men you be trying to leave no they will hold you hostage they get pissed come on now like I said be real I, I we know how men are they go crazy when you try to leave them I believe okay the second thing is she trying to walk away he pulled the gun out to scare her and accidentally shot her or shot at the ground and then ricocheted and pop popped on her foot. Like they were saying, um, she had um, gun, gun fragments in her foot. So I don't know. I Somewhere in there, I think he pulled it out trying to scare her, but he, he actually shot her. And then I'm thinking like, damn, well, how'd she get back in the car if he shot her? So I think that happened too because it's like, okay, she she walking out the car, he shoot her, and then like, damn, once he realized she shot her foot, I think that he's like, oh, get back in the car. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And that explains to me, like, why she probably even felt comfortable getting back in the car because she know that he probably just took it out to scare her but really ended up shooting her. But my thing with me is if you pull a gun out on me, I don't give a damn if you're trying to scare me or fake or shoot in the air. Like, no, I to me, you are intentionally trying to harm me if you pull a gun out, period. Then the third one. The third one that I would have to say is now, Tasha with the K, un unwind with Tasha on YouTube, the one that broke the story first, said that Megan was messing with Tori and Kelsey was messing with Tori. They both didn't tell each other about it, so they both was creeping with him. Mm. Now, here's why I kind of believe that, too, because Megan and Kelsey was best friends. Your friend got shot and you not speaking out on her behalf. Um, Excuse me? Now, I know y'all love saying the bitches is fake. So, they could have both been screwing him. They could have both been screwing him and that could have happened. I, I don't know. Like I said, once I was all the way down for Megan, but one, I can't deny the facts. They both got holes in their story. And I just, I, and another thing I thought of too, y'all know how y'all be real drunk. You be drunk as hell. Like, say you get drunk on Friday, you blacked out and everything. You don't remember, so you be at work on Wednesday, you like you bust out laughing like, damn, I forgot I did do that. Like, you be so drunk, you don't even remember what happened to days later. So I really think that night, she really didn't say nothing. Nobody really said too much because everybody was literally drunk out of their mind. They I, they was drunk. Y'all see how Megan kick it? Y'all see Tory Lane was on, in quarantine radio the whole pandemic, the whole, um, when first COVID came out, getting turned up every day. So I believe that they was just so drunk and I don't think Tory Lanez was walking to the car thinking like, yeah, I'm about to shoot this bitch. Or I don't think it was intentional. He he had, well, I'm not going to say intentional. I don't think he just planned on doing that. 
y'all know with liquor involved and the alcohol ain't no joke when we get drunk that's like a damn demon taking over us possessing our damn body it's ridiculous y'all know that mm. i can say that if they was not drunk i don't think this situation would have never ever ever happened and i really think it's lame of tori lanes to drop the album <laughs> and try to profit off of it. it's like come on man he literally dropped it i think a day or two after we just figured out brianna taylor was not going to get injustice that people keep saying what does one have to do with the other it's just like it don't but it do because it's like black women it's we always going through something she ain't getting no dresses then we turn around you making an album about about men getting shot like we don't it's just it's insensitive it's disheartening and it's just like I don't know. Sometimes just have have some empathy for black women. And you know, we don't get no empathy from nobody. We got it coming from all which way. But, ooh, that's a whole other topic for a whole other day. I ain't going to get into that. Mm. I'm not going to get into that. But he, he came out and said that all the profits from his album will be going to uh, a Breonna Taylor. I have to look that up. He basically, he's going to donate the profits in her name or something like that. So I... Uh, I guess that's a good thing, I guess. So, okay, that's my take on all that. I don't know what happened. Well, I will say she ain't nothing that she did in that car justify her getting shot. She didn't have no right to put his her hands on that. Nobody had the right to hit each other. You just you just don't do that. You only you just don't do that. But nothing justifies her getting shot, especially in a bikini. Like what the hell? Like nothing. So, y'all in the comments saying, I read the comments on the blog and on social media. Y'all know half of these people on social media is uh, is uh, brain dead anyway. I'm convinced. Because, golly, I'm like, what the hell is y'all talking about? You don't even make no sense. In the comments talking about, she deserves to get shot because of her music. She talk about being a savage. She this, she that. It's like, uh, come here, sir. Come here. Don't say that dumb shit again. Are you serious? Who raised you? There, it doesn't matter what she talk about. What she rap about, she could talk about her ass, her titties, her cat, her this, that dumb. She does not deserve to get shot. And it's so ignorant because I've seen it really coming from black men. I'm thinking in my head, like, okay, y'all listen to these these rappers, black, black male rappers, who all they talk about is killing each other, selling drugs, robbing people, banging a gang and a slang and all that stuff. Now, when one of them get killed, I don't see y'all saying... Oh, or shot or whatever. They, you know how they be. You, one of them gets shot, one of them gets killed. I don't see y'all saying, oh, he, it was his fault. That's what he rapped about. No. These people are artists. Whatever they rap about, it normally does not even portray, they, portray their lifestyle. So they have the right to rap about whatever, but that, uh, that doesn't mean they deserve to be harmed. Like, that is so insane to me that people was even saying that in the comments. And I'm like, y'all so crazy. That's like how these rappers rap about the... The, the gangster lifestyle, but like say they get racially profiled or something like that. That's like us saying, well, hell, should you rap about being a thug? You rap about being a robber and a killer you deserve it? No, it just doesn't make sense, y'all crazy. Y'all be saying the craziest stuff. And um, another thing that I saw that's so damn stupid is y'all saying, why would he shoot her for no reason? Um, hello. Have y'all not met men? <laughs> men are so emotionally, they say that we are emotional. They are emotionally unstable. Like, a nigga will shoot you for no reason. A nigga will shoot you for turning him down, for not giving him your number, for, y'all know how men be in your inbox. Hey, beautiful. Hey, babe. Hey, this. Hey, that. Whatever. They keep back and forth. Then when they see you, they respond and fuck you too, you fat bitch, your mama this, your daddy this, your crackhead, your bald headed whole cock -eye. Like, damn! <laughs> I've been beautiful for the past week. Now, I mean, men cannot handle being rejected. They, they just, they really are emotionally unstable. Call it like it is. So, it could be that he very well shot her for no reason. <laughs> That's not far fetched. Then y'all said, "Well, oh, he said he didn't do it." Does. I don't know if this pandemic made people stupider 
or what or maybe the COVID in the air or or maybe because they fucking around putting these chemtrails these these chemicals in the air i don't know it's probably getting to people brains these 5g towers something is going on y'all people minds are just it's like they are are not there of course how many criminals do you know that commit crimes and say they did it <clears throat> i'll wait <laughs> mm. No criminal confesses to their crime. Would you think he was going to drop a whole album and say he did it? No, that's what I expected him to do. Say he didn't do it. Y'all watch these damn shows. First, uh, no, what is it? First 48 or 48 hours or whatever hell that show called. Um, Fatal Attraction, Snap. They always say they didn't do it. You you catch them on tape. You see them clear as day. Hear that? That ain't me. Excuse me? Go to jail. <laughs> so... Everything that people, pretty much the comments I seen was just like ridiculous. Like, okay, y'all just silly. And it's just so funny to me. Now y'all, y'all trying to say, y'all love his music. Oh God, he's the rapper of the year. He, shut the hell up. Because I guarantee you, y'all so wishy-washy. Y'all say everything everybody do is whack. Had he dropped this album without this controversy, I can see y'all now in the shade room comments. Oh, this auto-tune shit, this ain't, this suck. You suck. Because that's all what y'all do. Y'all just love to talk about people. So, but now... It's around Megan Thee Stallion. Y'all you know, have, oh, this, this fire, this fire, this heat, this, shut, shut up. <laughs> no, it's not all that. It's okay. How, ask yourself this. this. This how you know you full of shit. You don't have to tell nobody because I know you people hate to be called out on their shit. But ask yourself this right now as you're listening to me. When was the last time you hopped in the car and said, put that Tory Lanez on. Hey, put that, ne never, never. I know I never have. If I, maybe if I heard something on the radio and I'm probably like, oh, that's nice. Ain't nobody hopping in the car saying put on Tory Lanez. <sighs> but now he's the best rapper singer of the year. Stop. <laughs> stop. Stop, 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 stop. You guys do better. So on that note, I'm we just I'ma just end it on this. Unless and so, oh, wait a minute, I got one more thing to say. <laughs> so, uh, somebody wrote on the shame room, they said, well, damn, did Kelsey shoot her? He said, no, that's not true either. So at this point, it's like, there's nobody left but the bodyguard and the Holy Ghost. What the fuck, what happened? We we need to, we need Kelsey to speak out. So, or the bodyguard or something. We we need, I, I want to know what happened because I'm nosy. I, I did, I've been racking my brain, putting it together, and I, I still came up with three different scenarios. I don't know. So what I will say is, What I will say is, men, y'all do disappoint me in these comments. I love my black brothers, but oh my God, y'all y'all be so disappointed. What she do to deserve? She does. She might have deserved it. What she do to get shot? Now, ask yourself: If your daughter came home and said, "Daddy, I got shot," or called you and said, "Daddy, I got shot," your mama, son, this nigga then jumped on me and shot me in my feet. You gonna say, "Well, what you do to deserve it?" No, you're gonna be. Head into them. You're going to put your shoes on so fast and try to get to them before the conversation even even over. So, Megan is somebody's daughter. Megan is somebody, you know, loved one. Like, come on, have some empathy. Don't say no dumb shit like what she do to deserve it. Because you ain't going to say that about your bald-headed mammy or your daughter. So, stop. Just think of it like that. Like, sometimes y'all just be, y'all be really harsh on these celebrities. And one more thing I will say is, as we know, Megan, she is only 25. She's young. She lost her mom, her dad, and her granny. For this quarantine, Kanye West been having to break down every other day. Like, it's like clockwork. Like, every 48 hours, here he come. And here the first thing y'all say is, well, y'all know he didn't lose his mom. He's never, y'all always say Kanye West has not been the same since his mom. And y'all still try to have empathy for him. So, show the same empathy for a black woman this lady this young girl 25 year old black woman has lost her mom her dad and her grandmother who does she really have and i think that's another reason why she always been around people she dealing with a lot and like i said i'm not trying to make no excuses from nobody she didn't des she didn't deserve to get shot don't nobody deserve to get hit on and all the other stuff it's just a hot mess so y'all we gotta stay tuned I know I'm be tuned into this story. I'm waiting for Megan to say nothing because I know she over there fired up. He even told everybody she was fucking on his short ass. I know she pissed because I know I would be too. So, y'all, I'm going to be. I got my notifications on for both of their page. So, I will keep y'all posted on that. Okay, y'all. Moving along to my last topic. Whew. Let me pour me some 
my way. Mm, y'all having fun? Hope I'm keeping y'all entertained. But this, oh, this Megan, this Megan and Tory Lane story drove me crazy. I was up putting this together. I, I'm so damn sick of this. I I, I was saying Megan Lane's and Tory Style, and I said, you know what? <laughs> Let me uh go to sleep. I, I was too too into this uh story. So last story. I gotta tell y'all about y'all self. Let me take a sip. I'm gonna talk about my good sis, Jada Waiter. Jada and Lil Baby the Rapper. Now, I know y'all know Lil Baby. He pretty much the hottest thing out right now. 25 years old. Atlanta rapper. And Jada. Jada, she just made 23. I think she turned 23 today or yesterday. So, a little bit about Jada. She's an IG model influencer. She got an online boutique. She sell hair. I looked up her net worth and said she she worth about a million. The girl, and, and people say that she used her for his money, but I've been following that girl for a while. She's been hustling since she was in high school, selling shirts and all type of shit. So she's not a bump. Now, <laughs> I'm talking about this story because y'all get on my damn nerves in the comments. Uh, these blogs and on they, her page and stuff like that, like y'all are so damn irritating. Like, okay, so. I know y'all see this too, because I, I be ready. When I see this in the comments, it's just so irritating. Like, y'all, when I see this in the comments, y'all drive me crazy. Like, y'all so irritated. Okay. Her, he he always, he buys her whatever. He bought her bins for her birthday. He just got her a pink customized Jeep. No, he got her bins. He buys her whatever. He got her bins for Christmas, I think. He got her a customized Jeep, pink Jeep for her birthday. He buy her Birkin, Chanel, all type of stuff. For her birthday, he just flew her out to on a private jet to Turks and Caicos with her friends. Like, he goes all out for her. Now, you hating ass bitches in the comments. Ooh, mm, mm, mm. y'all some haters. Well, not y'all. Y'all know when I say y'all. You know how you say bitch, but it ain't bitch. It's, you know, it don't mean it like that. When I say y'all, I mean y'all, y'all my listeners. I'm talking about the people. These hating ass hoes I see in the comments. Jada post the truck, the Jeep. Here go these hoes. And as they as they type this, they living in a section eight apartment with they nigga as they typing. Oh, he buy he that's all he does is buy her things. Where's her land? Where's her property? Where's her LLC? Bitch. Where your, how many niggas you fucking right now? Where your property? She uh 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 uh. Where your property? I don't want to hear no excuses. Where is your property? Where? Oh, you don't have any? Okay, shut the fuck up. <laughs> you don't have any, so stop. Baby girl, you don't have a Jeep or working on her property. <laughs> but, shh, we ain't gonna tell nobody. You don't have nothing. You probably fucking two niggas right now. You don't got a, a house to, you, you, you don't, you don't got nothing. You probably fucking two niggas right now paying a minimum payment on every bill in your house. Shut the hell up. Like, what is wrong with y'all? This girl is 23 years old. I think it's the sickest thing. I think it's so sick when y'all see black young women living a life of luxury and you want to say some bullshit like, oh, all he do is get you material things. All he do is this. And he cheat on you. He cheat. Like, it, it, y'all can't, you, they can't stand it to see a young black woman being treated like royalty. Like, and you know you sitting there. As soon as you type that bullshit, you be like, damn, I wish that was me. This girl is 23 years old living her best life. Living her best life. It's okay. We know we wish that you, you wish that was you. Because all, all, all you doing is fucking with uh, Ray Ray from down the street and don't got nothing but a goddamn headache and probably a case of crap. Shut the hell up. Mm. Shut up. Why do y'all say stuff like that? All in the comments. I mean, you scroll down and it'd be a good... Every shade room post be a good 5,000 comment. I mean, you could just scroll till your finger fall off. Did he buy you property? Did he say that? Did, did he cheat on you? Did Okay. The nigga you with now, how many times he cheated on you? How many kids he have on you? Oh. You quiet now, sis, ain't you? Mm. Mm. We don't want to talk about that. Okay, 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 okay. We 
want to talk about you. We talk about Jada. Okay. Okay. We ain't gonna talk about that. And it's like how the the to me, like I said, I've been following her for a while. They seem for them to be young. They seem like they got a good head on their shoulders. I would, if I had to bet, I would say that they have other investments. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I think little baby had tried to buy one of the malls down here in Georgia. So they ain't no dummies. I, I really do believe that they have other investments. And guess what? They probably ain't going to post no properties and no land because y'all don't like shit like that. Like, stop. That's just like y'all always try to say y'all so positive and y'all ain't. People post positive stuff, positive stuff, get two likes. Negative shit, get a two, two, this two billion likes. So come on now. They probably got it, but they ain't posting it. Y'all, y'all don't like that. Jada is an Instagram influencer. She know what to post. She know what people like to see. So stop. You don't want to see nobody posting land and LLCs and shit. Quit that shit. You don't want to see that. Mm -mm. You don't want to see it. Now, let me make this disclaimer. Yes, you should buy land. Yes, you should buy, buy property. Yes, you should you should invest in things that, you know, is going to bring you more wealth. But who the fuck are you to say that they didn't? Like, uh, excuse me, who are you to say that they did not do that? That's the problem. People pocket watching. You worried about the wrong thing, sweetie. In the meantime, you got two baby daddies. They ain't got shit. Living on Section A, getting welfare, and, and nothing ain't wrong with this. Ain't nothing wrong with none of this stuff that I'm saying. All I'm saying is, baby girl, <laughs> you're not in a position to talk. Leave Jada alone. Why y'all hating on my good sis? Leave Jada alone. Leave her alone. And another thing. What the fuck she do? Supposed to turn it down? Oh, I don't want this Birkin. I don't want the cook. Baby. Ray Ray can walk here right now with a knockoff Birkin. <laughs> you gonna take it and you gonna be happy. So stop. Just call it call it like it is. You jealous. Log off for me real quick. If you left a comment like this under one of Jada and little baby pictures and videos, log off right now. Look yourself in the mirror and say, it is not healthy to be a hating ass bitch. Like, raise y'all hand if y'all was when y'all was 23. Everybody been young, dumb, and full of cum before. Ladies, raise your hand. Now y'all can't see me, but I got two hands raised. Cause I've everybody been dumb. She 23. She ain't 33. She ain't 43. She 23. Yes, he cheated on her. He uh he's and then y'all want to pull up because in February he did say um he not in love and he is single. And y'all want to say, oh, she's stupid, she this. Baby, yo, yo nigga not in love with you either. And, and he be telling us that he, he uh he's single too. But you ain't hear that from me. You ain't hear that from me. Hold on, let me fix that. Mm. You didn't hear that from me. But Ray Ray said that about you. He he said he wanted to love. He said he was single too. But yeah. And she going through the same thing we didn't went through at that age. We we just didn't have to do it in the public, in the public eye. You know what I'm saying? So chill, chill on her. That's all I want to say is just chill on her because you've been you've been fucking since you probably was 14 and ain't nobody bought your shit bought you shit your nigga ain't even got you a foe for foe at 23 if i'm fucking with the hottest rapper at the time the only thing that's gonna make me leave him is if i want to and if he put his motherfucking hands on me or you know give me like an std or something crazy like that he cheated now now don't get me wrong yes cheating is bad cheating is horrible you do you don't have to put up with that, but clearly she like it. She's saying, who's to say she know it's it she she might just be enjoying it for what it is. It is what it is. He 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 buy her everything at that. You know what I'm saying? She living a the a amazing lifestyle at 23. Why would she leave? Because y'all want her to leave. Y'all want her to leave so y'all can have her spots. That's that's really what it is. Y'all hate to see it. Y'all people be jealous of these IG models and stuff for real. Y'all Oh, they just a rapper, baby mama. They just did so what? If I get free stuff and get paid to post cute pictures just because I'm a rapper, baby mama, by all means, <laughs> I'm going to do it. Come on now. It is what it is. And if you keep it real with yourself, you would you would be doing the same thing too. And then I see the comments. This this Birkin isn't even cute. I'll be fine with a Target purse or a forever. We, we know you a Forever 21, ho. We know. We know. <laughs> we know. You fine with that? That's why you don't get Chanel and Bergen. That's why you get the cheap shit you get now. Purse strap all hanging, just just a mess. Yeah, you talking about you don't want no Bergen and you don't want no Chanel and you got strings coming all out the purse strap, girl. Oh, girl, stop. Mm. 
Y'all get on my nerves with that. So just just leave her alone. Leave her alone. He ain't beating her. That not that I know him. Now he beating you, Jada, doing all that type of bullshit. Yeah, you leave. But if not, enjoy your life. You young, you twenty three. Don't listen to these ladies in the comments. That's 43, 53, 73, 63, 83, and still getting cheated on by Ray Ray down the street. I click on my profile. I'm going to say, bitch, who are you fucking? Let me see. Okay. She's fucking at Mr. Ray Ray. I'm a gang banger. Okay. Let me inbox him. Have you brought your boo some? Have you bought her some property? Cause she in the comments talking about what little, the little baby by Jada's. Oh, okay, you ain't brought her shit either. Okay, okay, like I thought. Damn man, I I rather here go man in the comments. I rather buy my girl some property. You was a you now that's a lie from the pits of hell. Now stop. Cause if I inbox ten of your all your ex bitches and the woman you with now, I'm sure they gonna tell me you ain't buy them no property. So quit the bullshit. Quit the bullshit. Y'all be y'all be. What they say, so much cap on this app. Y'all funny. Y'all in there asking, do she LLC about her property and all this stuff? And you don't even got no health insurance. I don't know. You don't even know the last time you've been to the dentist. But here you are on the blogs asking a 23-year-old, all count her pockets. <sighs> You're sick. you sick. Ain't had a dental cleaning and I don't know how long. But you want to know the little baby by Jada land. <laughs> get it together get it together but like i said of course i would want you to buy me property yes because I, I want something i i i'm trying to create generational wealth yes but if you come in the house with a keys to a new car a birkin chanel take me on trips guess i'm going to take that too so i i i take it all all free stuff hey i i yeah yeah mm -hmm, yeah thank you i take it all so and y'all do too y'all it's just cap on the app not y'all but the haters in the, in the comments. So, and I know y'all see them too. So, uh, on that note, I'm going to wrap this up. I hope y'all enjoyed y'all still. I had a good time. I'm over here buzz. Mm. I had a good time. So, I will see y'all on Wind Down Wednesday. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you thought, if you enjoyed my video, please feel free to share, share, share. See y'all on Wednesday.